Anzac Biscuits. Anzac Biscuits are a favourite and traditional biscuit in Australia and New Zealand, and the name Anzac actually refers to Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, which was first coined during World War I. The original idea of the biscuits was for housewives and mothers of soldiers fighting in the war to create a simple and cheap biscuit that they could send to their men fighting overseas. Such a biscuit would need to be made of ingredients that would not spoil or go off quickly, as supplies sent to the troops at this time were transported by the merchant navy and took approximately two months to arrive. Although the original recipe has remained largely the same, they weren't in fact called Anzac biscuits until after World War I and appear to be a variation of Scottish oat cakes. Originally, they were called soldiers' biscuits at around 1915 after the Gallipoli landings and later renamed Anzac biscuits. Because of their military association, Anzac biscuits are sold by such military groups as the Royal New Zealand Returned Services Association and Returned Services League of Australia as fundraising items to help support their members. These days, Anzac biscuits are as popular as ever and can be found in most food stores throughout Australia and New Zealand. Anzac biscuit ingredients used in this video. 1 cup equals 250 millilitres. 1 cup of traditional oats, not quick cook oats. 1 cup of plain flour. 1 cup of sugar. 3 quarters of a cup of coconut. 125 grams of butter, 1 tablespoon of golden syrup, 2 teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda, 2 tablespoons of hot water. The first thing to do is measure one large cup of traditional, not quick cook, rolled oats and pour the contents into a large mixing bowl. Next, measure the same amount of sugar in the same cup and add that to the mixing bowl. Next, add one cup of plain flour, not self-raising flour, and add this to the mixing bowl. Next, add three quarters of a cup of coconut to the mix. Next, put 125 grams of butter into a cup. Then add one tablespoon of golden syrup into the cup containing the butter. Place the cup with the butter and golden syrup into a microwave oven and melt completely. Whilst the butter is melting in the microwave, start mixing the other dry ingredients in the bowl. After the butter has melted in the cup, add two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda to the butter and golden syrup mixture.
Then add two tablespoons of hot water to the cup and mix all the ingredients thoroughly. Next, pour this mixture into the bowl containing the dry ingredients and mix everything together. Mixing can be done with just a spoon and doesn't require the use of an electric mix master. Once everything has been thoroughly mixed, it's time to dollop the mixture in biscuit sized portions. This is best achieved by using a teaspoon to scoop up a portion where it can be managed into an appropriate shape and size by hand and placed into a greased baking tray or baking tray lined with baking paper. The idea of greasing the baking tray or using baking paper is to stop the biscuits sticking to the tray during baking. In this case we're using a baking tray lined with non-stick baking paper. Place dolloped portions slightly apart as they will flatten out during baking. This amount of ingredients makes around 20 medium sized Anzac biscuits. Depending on the power of your oven and whether it's electric or gas will determine the temperature and duration of baking. Set the oven temperature between 170 and 180 degrees Celsius and bake for a duration of between 15 to 20 minutes or when the biscuits are golden brown. In this instance we have set our gas oven to 170 degrees and a bake time of 20 minutes. As you can see the biscuits flatten out during baking. Once the biscuits are deemed ready, that is they are a golden brown or done to your liking, take them out of the oven. As you can see, they flatten out and join together. Put on a cooling rack for a few minutes, still in the baking tray.
When they have cooled down sufficiently to handle, separate and take them out of the tray. Then it's time to eat and enjoy them.